Breaking news coming out of Downing Street. The UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister, Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. She has faced so many headwinds since coming into office just six weeks ago. Just six weeks ago. So let's get straight out to Sky News anchor and NBC News contributor Wilford Frost, who's outside down. Downing Street in London right now. Wilfred, big news just six weeks into her tenure. Liz Truss is st stepping down as prime minister. How exactly did we get here and what did you see? Yeah, I mean, extraordinary. Let's just reflect on that very short resignation speech uh, under two minutes. First of all, two key headlines in there. She has gone to speak to the king. She spoke to him by phone uh, and said that she would be stepping down in due course. That's the, the top headline. Uh, the second one was the reason for it. She outlined the fact that her mandate was here to change the way the country was wrong. She, of course, tried to step away from economic orthodoxy, which is what led to the initial need for various uh, U-turns. And she said, it is clear to me that I cannot now deliver on that mandate. She's lost the support, of course, uh, of her own party. What was absent from uh, what would be normal in a resignation speech was a list of achievements that an outgoing prime minister usually gets uh, to go through, of course, uh, not possible. She's only been in place for six weeks, very little that she's achieved. She did mention delivering on uh, an energy price bailout. In terms of how we got here, she kind of went all or nothing uh, to deliver for the right of the party as opposed to taking it step by step when she was attempting to be bold and very quickly support around her evaporated. For someone, of course, that had never faced the general election, she only had a mandate, a narrow mandate from her own party and not from the country as a whole, and uh, she couldn't deliver without that. Wilfred, the big question now is what happens next? Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next prime minister? Well, there, there is a, a big debate uh, about that, of course. I mean, the, the key point is there's no uh, clear single candidate at this stage, and there no doubt will be a lot of infighting once uh, again. There will be a prime minister in place, Liz Truss, until the next one is chosen, at least. We're not prime minister Liz. Uh, and the, the debate there is whether the party can come together in a semi-united way and anoint a successor just between the MPs without that six-week process of going to party members that we've already been through this summer to choose Boris Johnson's successor. Looking at the party right now, utterly divided, uh, the former approach, the unity approach, seems unlikely. But if the party doesn't go for that, we might very quickly uh, be crashing in to a general election. So we wait and see, uh, but they need to come together if they're going to survive as a party in the long term. All right, Wilfred, thank you so much for helping us cover this breaking news. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.